And without us doing anything, Chris yelled angrily. Major League Locker Room. Jolene gave Mario a better salary and she left the room. Their rank rose up to six. Where is Ness and Lucas? Haven't they returned yet? Chris asked, looking around the room. Something happened to them if they were searching for the bomb for sure, Pikachu said. Can you please go for Ness and Lucas, Pikachu? Leave it to me. Pichu, let's go, Pikachu said, leaving the room with Pichu, leaving Mario, Yoshi, Chris, Lucario, Fox, Falco, and Pit. I have a very bad feeling about this, Fox muttered to himself. Arena versus the Magikoopa Masters. Finish this match in five turns or less. Mario, HP 18. HP 18. Yoshi, HP 10. Fox, HP 30. Falco, HP 30. They were fighting against the Magikoopa Masters. A red Magikoopa, a white Magikoopa, and a green Magikoopa. Above a flying broom were the members of that team. And Mario used the power of the green crystal star. Um, for what was that? Falco asked, and suddenly a big bomb with a big green star on it appeared on their side, and they gasped. Mario, that's a freaking bo that's a freaking bomb, you idiot! Falco said, moving his hands crazily up and down. They quickly acted and threw the big bomb to their enemies. They threw the bomb back to them, and they continued back and forth until boom! The Magikoopa Masters were frozen without moving. Yoshi floated above the air by moving his feet, and he stopped above the green Magikoopa. He started to stomp on him four times and returned to the group. The magician was taken down from his broom. This time, Fox tried to use Fox Illusion, and he tried not to fail in his mind. And fortunately, he succeeds, and he quickly slashes the magician seven times in a row, defeating them in one turn. You stole my spotlight! Falco said angrily, and they received nine star points and greeted the audience. The Great Gonzalez is the winner! Grubber announced. Humph! Falco said angrily, looking away. Major League Locker Room. Jolene gave a better salary, she left, their rank rose up to five, and the Koopinator walked to Mario. Um. Hey you, Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake. From a fan, I guess, Dark Koopa Troll said, pointing to a delicious piece of cake above a red wooden furniture. Um, now that is a present. Just look at that strawberry on top of the cake. Yummy, Yoshi said, and after staring at the cake, he ate it and rubbed his stomach. Good cake, he said dreamily and recovered his health. All Yoshis are the same, no doubt, no doubt about it, Fox said. Where is Pikachu and Pichu? Don't tell me they haven't returned either, Chris said, looking around. Let me search for them, Pitt said, leaving the room. And there goes another brave soul, Lucario said. That was very touching, Lucario, Chris said, wiping out a tear from his eye. <laughs> Arena versus the Craw Daddy. Don't take 20 HP of damage. Was it okay to take 21 HP? Or 19? Would that be alright? Mar- I don't know. Mario HP 18- I'm being facetious. Mario HP 18, Yoshi HP 10, Chris HP 30, Lucario HP 45. hi -ya! Lucario launched the most powerful Aura Sphere he could make towards the Dark Craw. He received 20 of damage, and he was defeated quickly. The Great Gonzalez is the winner! Grubber announced once again, and the crowd goes crazy about the victory. Nobody can defeat us, yet, Chris said happily. Except the one time you fucking forfeited the match. Alright. Um. Oh shit, it's Bowser. Alright. Mario! Oh no, that voice, Chris said, shaking his head. From the crowd, the most stupid and idiot king of all, the same Bowser in person came jumping to the ring. I finally found you of all places, Bowser said, and he looked to Mario's team, especially Chris. Who's the wussy from over there? W wussy Chris asked, a little hurted from the inside, but Lucario stepped in front of him. Call him like that again, and you're going to regret it, Lucario said, angrily glaring at Bowser. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a king, and I can say what I want to say. Bowser looked around. Talk about perfect timing, and now all these folks get to watch me murder lies. <laughs> murder lies? You've made that up. Get to watch me murder lies all of you together. Just try it, Lucario demanded, narrowing his eyes. Bowser battle, fuck you. Um. <coughs> Mwahaha ha 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 Now watch me, audience. I'm going to beat the crap out of them, Bowser said, laughing evilly. Ugh, let's just finish this guy already, Chris demanded. Mario used power bounce on Bowser eight times. Then Yoshi made three eggs and he threw them at Bowser. He suddenly shrinks upon receiving the second egg plus six of damage in total. You little punks, I'm so going to kill you, f I'm so gonna kill you for now, Bowser said in a squeaky tone due to his tiny size. Chris, it's time for you to use the Aura Sphere, Lucario said, and Chris looked worried at him. But I'm still a Rocky. <laughs> what? <laughs> da da da! That's not funny. Okay, Lucario said, and Chris looked worried at him, but I'm still a Rocky. You can do it! O okay, let's see. Force Palm, Double Team FP3, Aura Sphere FP5. Chris focused his hands to create the Aura Sphere, but just as the orb was getting bigger, it exploded and Chris received four of damage. Wow, Chris said. Don't worry, I'll train you after we return to the mansion, Lucario said with a little smile. Then he used Force Palm on Bowser and received seven of damage. Ah, I'll get you for this, Bowser said, walking towards the group. He exhales fire, um, and they received set one of damage. Um, to finish this useless battle, Mario used Power Bounce again on Bowser. He received nine consecutive hits and fell above his belly defeated. No! Bowser said, returning to his original size, giving Mario and company ten star points. Whoo, Nelly! Gonzalez defeated the Outsider in a blink! Congratulations, Gonzalez! Nobody can stop you! Grubber said. All right. Major League Locker Room. My voice is dying. All right. Um, Jolene gives Mario his salary, and she leaves as always, and their rank roses up to four. That was Bowser, right? Man, you can't get away a single day without him annoying you, Falco said, and Mario nodded. And Mario receives another email. He needs to remember to get a spam email blocker for his mailbox SP. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion. From X. The telephone booth? There is one in this city? Chris asked. And Pitt hasn't returned yet. Let me go for him and the others, Lucario said, leaving the room. Okay, this is creeping me out now. We need to go outside, but this time together, Chris suggested. Didn't help Pikachu and Pichu, or, um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Lucas and Ness. Yeah. We need to go out the time of this time together. Chris suggested. Back hallway. Rourke Hawk was there and he saw Mario and company. Gonzalez! There you are, you little punk! If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt! Quit making such a splash! If you value your puny life along with your teammates, ha 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 He said laughing, warned the group, and left. Jeez. What the heck is wrong with that guy? Fox asked. He was threatening us, wasn't he? Chris asked. No fucking shit, Sherlock, you're a genius. <laughs>